Good morning, folks. Yesterday we began with the planet set to line up now and into this weekend, and today we're going to watch the sun wake up. We've got news from around the world as well, but beginning at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last 24 hours on our star and the lack of movement or flashing belies that notion that our star is revving the engine. However, it was right after the news was posting yesterday, a massive eruption could be seen leaving the southwestern limb. Major plasma ejecta here, and there is no question that this would have produced major geomagnetic storms at Earth when looking at coronagraphs. Stereo A captured the eruption as well from the other side, its position behind the sun right now. Well, what about the Earth-facing longitudes? Despite the lack of eruptive activity, we saw a new sunspot group really organize and begin to grow in the last few hours behind the big one. We now have sisters dancing across the disk, and both have the magnetism to move around and make a solar flare where polarities meet. Earth-facing quiet gets a little test the next 48 hours. Moving to seven days of solar wind, you can see the totality of the stream that triggered these magnetic storms over the past week. It's waning now along with global magnetic instability, even if localized disruptions are still presenting somewhat significantly. Top news beneath our feet yesterday was the volcano just west of Russia's six-pointer yesterday. It's now beginning to erupt. With the next coronal hole system coming in down south set to align with the end of the north before the weekend, we should expect a longitudinal coupling quake when that CME we saw hits 1 AU tomorrow night or Friday morning, especially since you can see we're entering the negative southern IMF here soon. Fascinating video out of India. This was from a couple days ago, took a little time to make its way back to the world, and uh, no, I am not sure what's going through the mind of that guy in the yellow shirt. You stop doing what you're doing, stay in your seat. Interesting article about complex compounds likely existing inside and among the icy interiors of Uranus and Neptune. Abstract star water relevance as well. And speaking of water, let's go to the tropics, or the post-tropics in this case technically, where her mine is just about ready to race at the eastern tip of Canada after having caused major headaches up and down the coast. The bigger story today, however, is across the continent between Baja and the Mexico mainland. This system has been feeding the Midwest storms, and will do so again tonight as it sets to come say hello to the observers out in the desert. Folks, there will be a significant update to the earthquake challenge today, at least to the half about location-based forecasting. It's going to post on our Twitter and Facebook feeds and to spaceweathernews.com slash challenge. We'll also post it in tomorrow morning's news if you miss it today, but eyes open. It's time you got to read my email chain with Dr. Love and a number of members of the USGS. Queen takes night pawn. Check. We've got weather around the world and shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.